This is going to be the complete guide to creating custom content for Music Wave. So the first thing you have to do when you want to make a custom song is pick out a song, obviously. But the second thing you have to do is figure out the BPM of that song. So the easiest way to do that is, one, you could look it up, but two, I think is even better, is using a BPM calculator like this. So for the song I chose, um, One For All For One, I'm going to show you guys how to get the BPM real quick. Just pick any point in the song from the beginning, it doesn't matter. And you're going to pretty much press your spacebar along with the beat. And you'll see the longer you do it, the closer you hone in towards um, a whole number. It's always possible that the song you chose doesn't actually have a whole number BPM, in which case um, that's going to be really annoying to make the notes line up, but it's just going to take some minor tweaking at the end. So once you know the BPM, you want to take whatever music or MIDI program you're editing in. I'm using FL Studio. Obviously that's not free. Um, there's a lot of free MIDI programs online. Honestly, I'm not really sure which one you should use, but as long as you're outputting a MIDI at the end of the day, anything will work. So take your favorite MIDI program, take the song that you want to make. I downloaded it right here. Um, and the first thing we're going to do, if your song doesn't line up perfectly at the beginning, you're going to want to try and beat snap it to at least one of these things. Just so it's easier to edit as you're making it. Um, so I guess I'll do it to the first one. And now on the first beat, the song will start which means that as we make notes, um, they'll actually line up with the song. So the way that Music Wave reads in a song is through um, a MIDI file. So whatever MIDI you create to align with this will end up in Music Wave. So what I'm gonna do is add any sound you want. I'm just gonna use a serum. It doesn't matter as long as it's a track. Um, create a new pattern, call it MIDI. Right click the piano roll. And now I'm inside of um, the note editing, at least in FL Studio. So in Music Wave, the lowest note is a C7, and the highest note is an A7. So this is the range of notes you'll be working with in Music Wave. In future updates for the song generator, I might make it so that way, if you go um, lower than this, it actually just re-snaps up to here. So B over here would actually end up making a note appear here in Music Wave which would let you um, import any MIDI without any editing and you would have something that's at least playable because uh, right now it's only reading from a note range but in future updates that might change um, I guess I'll make a new video and delete this one if that happens or I'll make an annotation but this is what you're working with here you have from C7 to A7 is your note range a cool way if you're using FL Studio to keep track of that while you're making a song is to clone whatever track you're working in here go to piano roll and make some sort of a really long bar up there and down there. And now while you're working on your track, you'll see that you have uh, the frame to remind you where the notes come in. Um, so what you're gonna do is take that MIDI track you created, snap it um, to the very beginning. And that's, you have to make sure this is touching the very beginning. Um, and now you can see that the song and the MIDI track are one and they can play together. And to make sure that this lines up with the song now, we're going to want to move over our notes a little bit to here. And I'm actually going to, I'm going to mute this so you don't hear it. It's just, it's basically just a guide. So the song starts here. Um, so now I could actually, within the pattern editor here, you can start to see how this is going to work. I could take my notes here. And I can actually start making the song for it. So say that you wanted your song to go like... And you can see it's actually starting to snap up with the song exactly. And as you, um, as you go on, you can actually zoom in here. Um, and depending on your MIDI editor, you can actually change the snap so that we can get more precise timings when things get a little bit closer together. That's on half now, so... The really fast riff over here, right over here. There's clearly four notes here. 
Be something like that. And the little tiny plucks like that help you hear it too. It goes like da 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 da. And you can, uh, you can recreate that with the menu. And the cool thing about this is um, if you do upload a chart and someone says it doesn't seem to line up at one part, you can always go back and edit your MIDI and then re-export it for someone to re-download. They won't actually modify their scores. Once they um, replace the folder or the MIDI chart that you made, it will just update the song for them. So it's pretty easy to workflow with this. A couple more cool features if you're using FL Studio in particular um, is, let's say I want to... Uh, check a verse because it's too fast. What I could do is click on the song that we're working on, right click time here, and we're gonna do um, auto detect. And now from this point, we're gonna say uh, BPM is 145 because we know that. So now we locked our BPM on our song. So let's say it's, it's getting really fast in one part and we need to figure out what's going on. We could do this. And it's a lot easier to decipher what's going on with that. We can always reset this back to 145 and our song will return to normal. Those are a couple of quick editing tips when you're making a track. So let's say that you're done with your track and you wanna export it. Well, the first thing you have to do, notice how we have a little gap here from our song that we imported and the actual um, file, the sound file. That means that we're going to actually have to, when we first export, we're going to have to delete this and only export the song again as a WAV file. And that's that way the start of the song and the start of the MIDI line up perfectly in the game. Otherwise, if you just use this file, there would be this tiny little gap and the song would start slightly before the chart. It would start like that in game and they wouldn't line up anymore. Which is why you have to re-export the song with however you lined it up with. Unless you lined it up with the track exactly at the beginning. So that's really important. Um, when you're exporting the MIDI as well, make sure that you export the MIDI such that um, it's like this. And you want to also, when you export it, make sure you delete your little uh, thing there. It doesn't matter. The MIDI program will know not to pick up the guidelines, but um, I think it's a little bit easier to uh, decipher what's going on if you do it like that. For my own sake, I like to do that. You can always leave your guides there, but this is my recommendation. So this is how you would export the MIDI. And you would go to um, Tools in FL Studio. You go to Tools, Macros, Prepare for MIDI Export. And then after you do that once, you can go File, Export, and you can export as a MIDI file. So that's how you do a custom song. I'm actually going to real quick um, show you guys an example. So as you can see here for Coffee, um, the song did actually start at the right place, which is really helpful. Uh, but if it didn't, I would re-export it. So no big deal there. Um, but in this case, we are only working with the MIDI here. Let's take a look. So as you can see, you can't actually hear the MIDI right now because I'm pretty sure I muted it because it was getting annoying. <laughs> but you can still tell even when um, it's muted that the notes are kind of hitting at the right spot. So let's say that you finish charting your song and you're at the point now where you're ready to export. The first thing you would do is delete this and export this WAV file exactly as is, unless of course it lines up perfectly at the beginning. Then you don't have to do that. But you still want to make sure you export, it has to be some sort of WAV file. So if you're using an MP3, just export as a WAV. Um, but now let's take a look at the MIDI here. What I do is Tools, Macros, Prepare for MIDI Export. Now it's done. All I have to do is file export as a MIDI file. And then I have my little folder here where I, I export my charts and then I would just export it here. And the next step is actually going to take place in the external program you have to download. All right, so just go to my website and go under games, music wave, go down to um, custom tracks here. And now we can actually download this. So you're going to get something that looks like this once you download it. Um, we're going to open up Song Creator, and we're going to type in the song name, type in the artist and the BPM, which is 110 for this song, once again, whatever you got earlier at the start of the video. And all you have to do is select a MIDI file. I'm going to choose the coffee chart that we made. Um, 
create song, and it's done. You'll know it's worked because you have this data file here, and when you open it, it's going to look like this, with a bunch of uh, song instructions for the game. So we're almost there. We're very close, actually. The final step we have to do is actually um, create the song folder. So I'll just make one in here. So name it whatever the name of the song is. In my case, it's coffee. We're going to open that up. And the folder name actually isn't important. We want to put the data inside of here, though. And it's important that you don't rename this. We just want it to be called data. All right, and lastly, we're going to put the WAV file in this folder. So we have the WAV file coffee. And we have the, the data for the track. Scroll down to Music Wave, go to Custom, and this is where all your custom folders live. So you can see these are actually formatted the same way. This is named Song, this is named Data. So we're just going to drag Coffee in here and make sure the song is actually made song, is named Song, not Coffee. All right, so we're in game now. Let's go to Custom Songs, and surely enough, all of our custom tracks are here. And there it is with perfect rhythm alignment. So I hope this helped you guys and I'm looking forward to seeing all the custom content you make. Remember to upload it to either the Steam community or the subreddit. I'll leave links in the description. It's hard to create a community for a new game, but let's give it the best try we can. Keep all the custom content within download reach. So anything you make, be sure to share it. And thanks for watching.